watch youtube.com slash meekfro. Yeah. So we all know Bolocks have been, they've been trending for a while here. And um, you know it's one of my favorite hairstyles. <laughs> they all cute and whatever. Some stuff that they never tell you about faux locks. Are you ready for this? I know you already have the question that's like in your mind right now. Where's the video concerning the exact faux locks I have in my hair now? Yeah, check the description box below. If you're on a device to where you can click the link in the corner of the screen, do so right now, but make sure you come back and watch this video. Thumbs up this video right now. Don't forget to do so. All right, so one. Faux locks can be very stiff at first. The way to get rid of this, basically you just have to gently style the faux locks. It will bring flexibility to the locks if you style them, move them around, don't snag on them too hard because then you're gonna have some issues. Also using the right hair can determine how long the stiffness will stay. So yeah, number two, faux locks are hard to sleep in. Especially if you have longer faux locks, yeah, you're gonna have a really hard time sleeping with those. Now, one of the clients I had, she gets the bob locks all the time. She get them really short and you know, not too many locks up there, kind of, you know, realistic looking. Um, she said she didn't have any problems the first day when she got them done sleeping, like sleeping was a breeze. She put her bonnet on her head, boom, easy peasy. So I think, um, shorter styles are more ideal to sleep if you are really concerned about your sleep. But other than that, if you get something like this, duh, yeah, you're not gonna get, you know, decent sleep. It's gonna get easier to sleep, you know, you know, the longer you have your faux locks, it will be easier to like situate your head and knowing, you know, which way to lay your head to get some good rest, you know? Now what I do is I either put my locks up like this I have a lot of locks up here. I put it up in a bun or I get a scarf like so, a long scarf, tie it around, bump the hair down, wrap around, wrap the bun, tuck it into the scarf and then this flat area. You get a flat area when you put your hair up, your faux locks up and then you're able to either lay on either side if that makes sense. But if they're down or any other like downward style, you probably won't get any good decent sleep. Numero tres. <laughs> realistic amount of faux locks on your head will equal a realistic bun, if that makes sense. But you see how big my bun is? Some people like this. They like big hair, they like long hair. Well, see, I have a full head of locks on my head this go around. It's my first time ever doing that, putting a whole bunch of locks up here. It's over 50 locks up here. Clients get in my chair and say, hey, I want a full head of locks, like this. And then they get home and say, hey, I'm not able to put it up in a bun. How do I put it up in a bun? If you wanna be able to put your hair up in a ponytail or a bun with faux locks, you have to have a realistic amount of faux locks on your head. Number four, it's hard to get your hair, your real hair, extremely clean when you're having faux locks in your head, okay? Um, people ask, can you wash your hair with these faux locks? Oh, more than welcome, you can, yes. And only thing you're able to access really is your scalp for the most part. Number five, this is the one I love to talk about. If you burn the ends of your faux locks, if you ask for your ends to be burned, your locks are going to stick together. You're gonna to snag this and that. But keep in mind, burning the end of your locks gives it a natural look. I know you want that natural, clean look on the ends of your locks versus putting rubber bands or nasty white nail glue at the end. That's just a more ideal way of doing things. Unless you're doing like blonde hairstyles, like blonde full locks, light blonde full locks, the burning would not be ideal at all because you're gonna have like black marks on the end of your faux locks. Number six, there are methods out there to save money on a faux lock hairstyle. We know faux locks are extremely expensive. You have to pay the hairstylist and if the hairstylist does not have the hair included, you have to turn around and pay for huh, 
the hair this applies yeah um okay human hair faux locks versus synthetic like marley hair faux locks or yarn faux locks we know yarn faux locks and marley hair faux locks are on the um cheaper side versus human hair but what i do is i do a mixture of marley hair and yarn now for those of you who do not know about my method be sure to check that out check the description box if you're on a device that allows you to see the link in the corner of the screen click on that we'll show you my method it involves yarn and marley hair and curly hair if you're trying to uh, achieve the goddess lock the curly end there are other methods out there to get a cheaper you know to go easy on your pockets you could also do individual crochet locks inserting the crochets individually instead of you know braiding your hair and crocheting individual I also have a video on that you should check that out I did it with some Zuri crochet locks the individual they looked just as good except I don't like crochet locks because they really don't last long they're very flimsy you can also use all Kanekalon hair you know the 99 cent pack hair number seven Woo. faux locks could be damaging yes nobody will tell you this but they definitely can try not to get faux locks too much I try not to do that you know because it can wear and tear on your real hair these bad boys are heavy depending on you know like I said they're long or short but I usually get long ones and they are yeah they're heavy for faux locks to last you have to put them in tight kind of tight and if you get this style a lot always having tight styles will definitely cause like some scalp damage breakage etc and try not to pull on these so much like people get in my chair um i do their faux locks they get home start to pull on them like they're real dreads i don't know like and then the snagging you know they try to loosen the snag and they just <laughs> so rough with it number eight faux locks are time consuming i'm sick of this hanger back here like it's ugly I have some people that sit in my chair and say, what faux locks can I get that won't take as long? Because regular ones take anywhere from four to eight hours, possibly days, depending on how small and long you want them. Most people who sit in my chair want them medium butt length. It takes me seven hours to do those, but you're trying to get them smaller, a full head of hair, yeah, uh-uh. You got to come back the next day to get that done. Like, to continue. So locks could take anywhere from four hours to days. Seriously. But if you're trying to, like, crunch on time, you would probably want to do the crochet locks. Individual crochet locks or crochet locks. Number nine. This style is not cheap. Faux locks are not cheap. People complain about the prices being too high. Hairstylists, oh, you're charging too much. Okay, well, it takes forever to do this style. You gotta pay me for my time. You try to give them the cheaper route of things, like, okay, let's do Marley hair and yarn, um, or all yarn locks. Um, this hairstyle is gonna cause a grip, and especially if you want human hair, faux locks, yeah, you looking to pay some big money. Last but not least, the last one, number 10. This is actually a good thing, but it could be a bad thing for some people. Faux locks could help you start permanent locks. One time I left my faux locks in for so long, close to two months. Girl, or whoever's watching this, the front of my head started to lock. That's why they say you should moisturize your hair before getting these. And I don't like to put product on my hair when I get faux locks because it makes it dirty real quick. But some people like the fact that you can start your own locks with it. I think I had a cousin that actually started her locks using um, the faux locks. But yeah, that is it for this video, y'all. I just wanted to, you know, touch in with y'all concerning these faux locks because I get questions all the time in my Facebook inbox mostly. People have legit questions about faux locks. So if you have any other questions concerning faux locks, 
I'm an avid wearer of faux locks, so I could probably be able to answer those questions for you. Hit my comment box, my inbox, anything like that. Also, follow me on social media if you have not. At Fro, Instagram, uh, Twitter, at Fro. At Michael Trent Instagram, that's my main Instagram page. Um, I also have a like page, Meek Fro on Facebook, personal page, facebook.com slash I entertain. All of that will be in the description box. You know where to find it. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Do me a favor, thumbs up this video. Do not forget to share. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.